I just put out a tweet on Twitter saying, give me your portfolio, send me a link and I'll critique it. So let's just do that right now. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Okay, so Ola, let's have a look at yours. This is the Behance portfolio. This is really cool. I haven't seen this. I don't know how yet. I need to look through my Skillshare class. But essentially, recently, my Skillshare original class went live for you to watch if you want to. And you've used the same brief as the one on the Skillshare class for Origin, which is really nice. Origin is an app that maps the sky in real time. Create a logo and key visuals to use for an app, marketing and merchandise that will attract beginners in astronomy, as well as more experienced hobbyists. Very nice, got a good goal there. So you've got your target audience and the year that it's made in, and oh my goodness, there's a video as well. <gasps> That's unreal. Where'd you do that animation at? That is so cool. You can see the light flashing and everything. I love the logo, by the way. The way that you presented this is really really nice you haven't just shown the logo and the brand assets you know the things that designers want you've actually shown the the use of it on a phone how it would look and you've sort of bridged that gap between the fantasy and reality look at that i've seen this logo and i think i have said something on uh the community page over at the skillshare class you've even got like, other images in there i like that the only thing i'll do differently here actually is the background it looks a bit too it hurts my eyes a little bit just make it white and just have a nice little drop down shadow on this phone here's your mind map that's another process that we talk about in the class before i start designing i highlight keywords in the brief and follow up conversations then create a mind map that guides me through generating ideas very nice so what have you got you've got like sky yeah maps constellations orbit yeah you've got everything in there that's really cool that you've got like ideas and then you're connecting ideas with other things it's basically like a massive mind dump i really like the story that you've got in this especially when we scroll down we see this you've got your sketches here really nicely presented so the sketches can be scanned in and then you can put them in on an image like this logo explained we've got a grid for mapping a star for sky and space and then you've got the start and the grid see that you've circled it there right there i see that is really cool really nice logo simplistic futuristic with the typeface as well works super nicely you've shown everything here from merchandise here on the last image that that logo needs to be way smaller and don't do the overlay over the top of it you, you want the logo to be seen but the main hero image of this should be this this is the app or this this could be the app for the portfolio piece ola well done i think that's how you say your name but well done ola ola next one we have got Michael Duane. So Michael Duane design dot my portfolio dot com. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, some work over here. I like that. You've got like the split screen going on here. So let's go to your full portfolio. Okay, so my portfolio and drama work. I can't really see a logo at the top. That might be an issue. Pepperidge Farm since 1937. Okay, so a rebrand concept. So this is the old logo and this is the new one. So the old one, yeah, it's got that sort of 90s, the 80s vibe in there here's a new one still keeping with that heritage type which is nice it doesn't look too modern which is great but you've given it a modern twang it just looks cleaner the colors are nice too oh and look at those packaging that packaging is unbelievable i really like that you still got the heritage in there so he still feels old so even though it feels old it's not exactly you know outdated it just works well a really nice system in packaging design there well done very nice we've got a paisil one here i remember this one i think I re yeah i definitely remember this one this is your portfolio piece this is what i'm talking about when you do a portfolio if you've got no clients do fake projects no client cares whether it's a real project or not really they can see what you've done and how you've solved the problem obviously they might care in the sense that you've never worked with clients so they, they don't know how you'll be working with someone and taking direction from them but still doing a portfolio piece that's fake is better than not doing one at all and just waiting for a client yeah really nicely presented i can see your work has like gone up like you've increased your level there over the years let's have a look at some more timberland Ooh, that's a really nice typeface it's got a bit of a rustic effect to it let's make friends club no way that's a really nice logo it's got it's not simple but again you they don't have to be so simple all the time they just have to be a mark that people can see if it was going to be on like a tiny product then yeah obviously it's got to be simple but this is all about you know having fun making friends a bit quirk everyone's a bit quirky here and there so it makes sense great work dude well done okay next one tj mapika so sci-tech aluminum okay if you like my design yeah standard logo looks good 
your dribble isn't really a portfolio. The, the problem is you only get like shots, little shots. I mean, it looks great by the way, but it's just, you only get these little shots inside of them. My main thing for you, TG, I keep saying TJ. I think your work is getting there and it's looking good. I think the, my piece of advice for you is get another website. The problem with stuff like this with Instagram and everything else, you, you don't have the customizability or the customability to customize the way your brand looks. You're just shoving it onto a platform and hoping that people see it. When you create your own website, people can see it. And that leads me on nicely to the sponsor of this video. Squarespace is the best place for you to host your website and make your website. If you're looking to create your own portfolio and attract clients from around the world, maybe even sell some design resources, or even just get in contact with other people who are with similar interests to you, then Squarespace is the place for you. I've been using Squarespace as my main website for about seven years now. On there, I've got my portfolio, which is being currently updated so the website's going to look completely different soon i've got a shop on there where people buy brushes and design resources i've got a blog on there a contact page on there and about me page i've just shoved everything that i could in there and it works amazingly with thousands of fully customizable templates for you to use squarespace is obviously the right choice so don't just stick on instagram don't just stick on other social medias where you put your portfolio get yourself a real tangible website that you can customize and truly make your own if you want to design your website then go ahead it's completely free until you pay for it and when you do decide to pay for it there's a 10 percent discount if you click the link down below or use my code on to the next one busty let's have a look Peter Nuster, what a name. There's a bit of a problem here with your portfolio. When I scroll down, I can see that simply creative thing pop up, but I'm way too far down for it to come up, so it kind of confuses me. You've got a quote on here. Design must seduce, shape, and more importantly, evoke an emotional response. Very true. Kind of like near me, my wife. Can I say that? Will I get in trouble? Probably not. Be okay. Let's have a look at your logo. Wow, you've got loads of logos on here. Let's choose my favorite one really quick. Yeah, I love the idea of the green in the background. Very nice. It's kind of like a tea green in there. I like the abstract logo in there. I, I, the, your portfolio is mainly just a logo folio. What you need to do is get the context in there. Like, what is this logo about? I want, I'm a client. I'm coming on here. I'm having a look. There's no information. Who is this for? What, what was your process like? You've got a bunch of logos on here, which you could go into so much depth with. And when you go into depth with them, you're going to have a much easier time finding clients as well. Okay, so summer, logo marks and symbols. Ooh, very zoomery. Wisteria, very nice. Okay, so you've got a logo folio here. Very good. I like that one. Kind of reminds me of a brand I already know. You, you, your, your work is great. I'm reviewing portfolios though. So I need more context. I want to see one. I want to see one logo with context. Although your work is great. Really nice. On to the next. Okay, Dave B. <laughs> Just a big whale. No way. Graphic designer, photographer, illustrator. Cool. Duck yourself. This looks interesting. I really like that duck. I love the illustration style in there. It's like, it looks sketchy as well, which is cool. Nice little portfolio piece, illustration, little robots. This looks interesting. Oh, very nice. Some illustrations of little robots. It would be cool to have a bit of an explanation. If I'm a client and I'm wanting to see work, obviously you don't need to tell me in a patronizing way, but I still need to understand what it's about. So maybe some words explaining that and telling like more of a story. Okay, the last one. Let's go find one more person. Patrick Tuell. Let's have a look at you. I like your logo, by the way. That's really cool. I like the darkness of your actual portfolio. It's very nice and clean. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. So case studies, a capital investment company that relates and empathizes with the most common person. Estella brings a sensitive perspective to the world of investing by implementing those exact characteristics to the visual identity. A bridge is built between the company and those who use the print collateral. Dude, this is a great example of a good portfolio. Like you've explained some, like one of the core fundamental things, which is like, you know, good design work kind of follows the grid. You can break the grid, obviously, don't worry. But like you've explained it to the client that you know what you're doing by showing a fundamental thing. Obviously you've used the grid here by doing these simplistic poster designs, which look very nice. Business cards, everything in there, everything that a client wants to see to make sure that you're the right person for the job is in here. So 
Well done, dude. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did, there's plenty more on the channel. In fact, I've just released recently a new Reddit video. So go and click that. It's in the description below and probably in the sidebar. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on another one of these videos and I'll catch you in the next one. See you soon. Goodbye.